Good morning, my darlings, and welcome to a new vlog. Today is a very, very, very exciting day for many reasons. Reason number one, it is the first official outing of the Dior coat. <laughs> I have been waiting for the perfect excuse and the temperature has dropped a few days, a few days? The temperature has dropped a few degrees today. I'm not gonna lie, the past, over the weekend, it was definitely too warm to be wearing any kind of coat. I actually got a little bit sunburned. You can't see it because of the dress that I'm wearing. But I got a little bit sunburned yesterday, so definitely not coat weather. Um, but it's dropped a few degrees today and it's a little bit cloudy. So it seemed like the perfect opportunity to bring out this beauty. Because I am heading into London today, I'm going real life shopping, can't wait to, feel the buzz of real shops after so, so long of online shopping. Obviously I've been to Bista where I got the gorgeous coat, but there's something about Oxford Street that I have very much missed. And the reason for our trip to London is a very special shopping trip for my friend Robin. I believe she's vlogging today, so I'll leave all of that excitingness to her. I'll leave her YouTube channel link down below, but it's a very exciting shopping trip for her. That's all I'm gonna say for now. We're gonna be meeting up at lunchtime and then doing some exciting shopping together. But before that, I'm solo shopping. We're getting the train together, but um, I'm gonna be solo shopping for the first couple of hours, which actually is great because I feel like I get in the zone. I can like put my blinkers on and do some real intense, <laughs> Tense shopping. Oh my goodness, old school Josie is back. Um, but yeah, so I've got my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. She's not been out for a while either. And then some very practical footwear, my Valentinos, because they look lovely and I can really run around in them. Um, and then I've got my H&M dress on underneath. So I'm feeling great in this outfit. Looking forward to a day of girly treats and shopping. And I'm excited to bring you along, so let's go. So we just made it into Marlebone and I'm with lovely Robin. Hi everyone! It is a very exciting day today. Do you want to explain what you're what you're doing? So today is my first wedding dress shopping appointment. So excited. Oh my goodness. Robin is going to Suzanne Neville. If you have been around long enough to remember Be My Bride, you might remember the beautiful gowns. But you're just going to try so many on try right? loads of dresses on you and find oh out which one is best. It's going to be spectacular. So I'll leave Robin's video down below so you can see the whole experience. But first we're on a mission to find a coffee or a smoothie. And as you can see it's a beautiful day. We're just going to bumble down Marlebone High Street. And um, yeah, so exciting. Let's go. Robin and I are creatures of habit. You can take us girls out of the Cotswolds, but we just take the Cotswolds with us. <laughs> We've come back straight back to Dale <laughs> My goodness, we know what we like these days, but we urgently needed uh, some hydration, and now it's back to the high street. Okay, I have said goodbye to Robin for a couple of hours, so now I am solo shopping, and back at my old stomping ground back on Oxford Street. It's fairly quiet, it's not completely ghost town-like, um, but definitely the quietest I have ever seen it, aside from peak lockdown. It was a little bit sad walking down Marlebone High Street, there are quite a few stores that um, have obviously closed during lockdown, a lot of empty retail space, but I really hope people come back to physical shops, there's nothing quite as magical as coming to a real life shop as opposed to online shopping. Um, but anyway, we are right outside Selfridges, the traffic lights are green, so let's get down to business. So last time I came here, there weren't any testers, but actually I think these are faux lipsticks, which is interesting. Obviously not very COVID friendly to um, <laughs> be doing any testing of makeup. This is a long shot, but I'm gonna go and see if Blink can squeeze me in for a threading. That would be just absolute gold. No drop-ins, but I am booked in at 11.45, which is only in 20 minutes. So that gives me 20 minutes to mooch around. I think I'm gonna have a little look at the handbag section and then head up to the fourth floor, which is my favorite area of Selfridges. Not too much has changed in this area, 
lots of TikTok stars on the uh, screens, which I'm definitely not used to seeing, my goodness. And I don't think they had an Edge of Amber before. But this is handbag zone, familiar territory. things in real life oh my goodness these bags with the pearls on the top they are beautiful I think I just said that it was the fourth floor that I love in Selfridges but actually it's the third floor where we have um, oh hive I've not heard of that before I thought it was Brasserie of Light on this floor oh my gosh I hope Brasserie of Light hasn't gone anywhere Ooh, we have some new lingerie brands love stories I got a few pieces from their collection that they did for Victoria's Secret. I love looking at snazzy loungewear. Pajamas, I didn't know Maximara Leisure existed. That's interesting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. I don't know about you, but I'd feel a bit weird burning something like this. <laughs> Ebouché, that's such a lovely brand. Oh, so this is Hive. This used to be um, the Hemsley Hemsley Cafe. And now it's all honey. Looks lovely. That looks really nice. Figs on toast, superfood granola, gluten-free pancakes. Okay, I definitely want to come here next time. That looks lovely. Damn, really nice to see an underwear mannequin that, that is not a size four love that okay that is beautiful self-portrait I love this area so many brands that I adore Maricia I recognize this print it's like my dress from Tory Burch it's so lovely Gosh, I can't wait to buy things for a summer holiday. Oh. So the one retailer that of course I wanted to beeline to to see in real life was Zimmerman. Oh my gosh, my absolute favourite. Just love seeing their designs. Gives me instant whimsical vibes. Look at this dress. I think Lydia has this one. So stunning. Oh, their materials, their colours. That's the skirt to the... Oh, that's the top that I've got. Gosh, look at this hat, that is so fun. It's gorgeous. <laughs> These changing rooms are giving me real Santorini vibes. That is beautiful. What Reese does so well, these beautiful basics. Love a square neckline. So level two is where Brasserie of Light is. And it's also where the designer boutiques are. This is the barman section. How cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. I think Victoria has this. You can see Freddie wearing that as well. Cute! Is this Chloe? My Chloe boots. I spot them. There hasn't really been a new Chloe bag recently, has there? Oh, look at this. Okay, 
my brows are done. They're looking a little bit red. I always react a little bit crazily whenever I have anything done on the face. Um, but she's just got rid of all the little blonde wispy hairs in between and underneath. Um, and then what I love about Blink is they give you a little kind of head massage with the soothing cream afterwards. So hopefully this redness will go down in just a few moments. Just come here to brush my hair, pop my sunglasses back on, and I think I'm going to try and head to Zara next. Okay, made it to Zara across the road. I'm hoping, ooh la la, that is very nice. Instantly we have something lovely. I'm hoping I've timed it right for their spring collections. What is this dress over here that looks very Tory Burch-esque? That is very me. Ooh, yes. That's coming with me. I have to say Zara do bohemian, easy, beachy summer dresses very well indeed. And footwear. Always look down in Zara. They often have some amazing footwear. Some great designer inspired styles. That's another nice blue and white dress. This is making me reminiscent of those Balmain dresses we saw a second ago. And they always do some very Chanel esque blazers. I love the little cropped one. That's cute. I think Robin would like this. <laughs> this is so similar along the same lines as those Balmain dresses, isn't it? Even the colours and the textures. Just switch the buttons out and that could easily be Balmain. These are great to pop over. Your little strappy dresses, your dining outside. Literally so Balmain esque, aren't they? What's this little floral item? Cute. Oh my gosh, they have so many cute things in this section. So I love this little top with the bows on the sleeves. But then look at this. Look at this. Of course, this is a Josie dress. We've got smocking on the bodice, we've got broidery, lace detail. Okay, let's find my size. Yes! Some really nice little easy beach cover-ups. Some broidery blouses. Great for gardening. That is lovely. Look at that, this dress giving me real Zimmerman vibes. The material and the button-down detail. is really fun. Perfect for outdoor summer events. So many of my old favourites down this street. I think this is Grosvenor Street. I can never remember the name. Or is it Audley? Maybe it's Audley Street. Um, so I'm just heading now from Zara towards Chelsea where I'm going to be meeting up with Robin again. One thing that might surprise you about London is how close together everything actually is. Like a lot of the places you might find that you want to go, whether it's Oxford Street, Knightsbridge, Chelsea, they're all actually fairly close together within reason. So as long as you've got some shoes in that you're fairly comfortable walking on, on, in, um, then I would always recommend walking instead of getting the tube. It's really nice to just see all these little side streets like this one here. Uh, which is Upper Brook Street. I just think it's lovely to see these more hidden corners, the residential areas, the offices. You often find the nicest little cafes in these um, not so not so popular streets. <sighs> I used to come down these streets to take my outfit of the day photos. Now I take them all in fields. <laughs> but I'm heading towards Elan Cafe on Park Lane to get myself a Lucky Charm oat milk latte because I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> now, I have definitely shot outfit photos by this post box before. My goodness, it looks like someone else is doing the same over there. Or some kind of photography. It's funny walking down these streets and I feel like I'm literally the only one here. I guess these are the kind of streets that would usually be bustling with people coming to work. Lots of offices here that I'm sure people have realized that they can work from home. Honestly, I have never 
seen London this quiet. I think Elan is down this way. Um, people often ask me if I miss London and I always say nope but it will always be my favourite city in the whole world but I feel very lucky that we're only an hour away. It's still very easy to come in for a day trip like this and then you get the best of both worlds. Gosh it's super breezy so I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me but I didn't realise the Dorchester have got little pods outside if you want to have an outdoor dining experience. But this is what I'm here for, the pinkest cafe in London. <laughs> oat milk latte unfortunately they didn't have any lucky charms but an elan cafe oat milk is the absolute best so i decided to get it to go unfortunately we're not allowed to use our reusable cups at the moment due to covid um, but i'm heading in that direction towards green park and then i'm going to take a very scenic stroll towards the ivy chelsea garden which is where i'm meeting robin again for lunch okay i've walked half the way and i've decided for the sake of my little feet i haven't worn heels of any kind in over a year i've decided i'm gonna get the bus the rest of the way i may have been a non-londoner for just over a year now but i still know all my bus routes so i need to get the 137 from hyde park corner to king's road and then when i get to king's road i will walk the rest of the way down to the ivy chelsea i think my feet will thank me for it guys we have a disaster we have a big problem. If you are an old school follower from pre Cotswold days, you will know that my favorite shop on King's Road is Club Monaco. And it is usually there, but it is now replaced with Ralph Lauren. <gasps> I'm so sad, where's Club Monaco? I know they're the same company, by the way, this is my dream car, but not in purple. <laughs> Club Monaco has been replaced by Ralph Lauren and it is the saddest thing to have happened since they told me that I couldn't get Lucky Charms in my takeaway coffee. Anyway, let's go to Kate Spade to try and make myself feel a little bit better. <laughs> Oh my gosh, disaster averted. Why would they do that to me? They just moved across the street. Thank goodness. Let's go and check out the new Club Monaco. Ooh, such a beautiful neckline. I have to say, it doesn't feel very Club Monaco y up here. It feels almost Reese esque. loving this coat so much every time I catch a glimpse in the mirror even with my pockets full <laughs> I just think it's so gorgeous oh here's my kind of colors got some pastel knits signature everywhere love that cute little yellow more relaxed kind of work vibe. That reminds me of my Reese knit. Ooh, I like these lemon yellows. Beautiful. This is a very practical piece for your wardrobe, a little silk cami, great for layering. And a jumper dress, of course. I feel like they've got a lot more sporty in here since last year. That's lovely, a little cotton day dress. Seems to be another way. Oh my gosh, the staff in there were so friendly. Apparently they moved um, across the road. It's obviously where J Crew used to be. They moved in February, but they've only been open, of course, since 12th. So they've only been here for a few days, really. Now this is Pavilion Road which some non-Londoners may not stumble upon, but it really is such a nice street for cafes, some little boutiques. I'm gonna pop in, oh, yeah, thank goodness Kate Spade is still there. Um, there's Olivia Van Hal, there's Sarah Chapman, if you're in the, in the market for a facial, and there's some really great cafes further down, a little bit away from Kings Road, more towards um, 
already spotted something very cute. Look at this material. <gasps> that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. A sweet little summer dress. That is lovely. And the matching little blazer. Oh, I love Kate Spade so much. <gasps> Look at this. They always have the cutest little basket bags. Look at that. <laughs> a little puffer fish. Oh my gosh, I want one of these room dividers. Back down Kings Road and oh my goodness, five guys. <laughs> that smell is making my mouth water so much. Well, I've got about 20 minutes until lunch, so I'm just gonna pop into anthropology. Oh my goodness, this could be dangerous. This store is so massive, it always reminds me of being in an American shop. Oh, all this cute picnic wear. So lovely. Gosh, that looks amazing. Oh, how lovely are they? Beautiful table linen. I think that's a tea towel, but honestly, I just get that so dirty. <laughs> and thing for your butter. Cute. Gosh, just love everything. How beautiful is that for a little picture? And these glasses look like that's been done by hand. Stunning. Gosh, this round marble table is stunning. I don't think it's for sale. That is beautiful. I love the rugs in anthropology as well. I tried to order one for my powder room, but me and the anthropology website do not get along. <laughs> so cute. I actually ordered this table for Chiswick, but they messed up the delivery so much that we never ended up getting it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought that was the price of the table then. <gasps> The table is beautiful. Look at that detail. This is the legendary, I think it's called the Primrose Mirror of everyone's Instagram dreams. <laughs> so lovely. And now it is time for lunch. Just waiting for the others and I've come to the bathroom and how cute is this? Flowers in the ceiling, pink marble vanity. Gosh, I would have loved to have had a pink marble vanity in the powder room. It was so cool. Serious inspo for the powder room. See, this is antique glass, but it's not quite as antique as my mirrors in the dressing room. I love it. Such an epic shade of pink. <laughs> So the sweet waiter noticed some photos on Robin's phone and bought the cutest little dog. How sweet is that? Oh, beautiful. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. You said my world of fire. You're my heart's desire. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. They 
make me smile What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors Like the moon is the snow We don't care about the others You set my world on fire You're I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old You sell me or stay, or take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire I just want you I just need you. I don't know. My vlogging camera died, so I apologise if the camera just uh, quality just got worse. But we're back in Zara after a quick mooch in Harrods, and the Zara in Knightsbridge always has such nice stuff. Look at this. It's very kind of the Love Shack fancy vibes, Reformation free people vibes. I love all the smocks dresses. Cute. As Robin just said, this section is very Alessandra Riche vibes with the pearls, like we saw earlier with the Balmain-esque styles. Gosh, I just love all these colors. Little baby bags. my greenhouse after a fantastic day in London. I always am so grateful how easy it is to get to and from London on the train under an hour. It was such a nice day of shopping, wedding dress shopping for Robin and a wonderful lunch. Now back home again, it's been a scorcher. So I've come straight to the greenhouse to give everything a nice drink of water. I apologise if the last few minutes of footage has been a little bit, um, what's the word, irregular in its quality. I have finally put a new battery back in this camera. I've been footing between camera and phone for the last, what well, feels like hours, but hopefully only a few minutes of vlog footage. So back home again, Charlie has got pie and mash in the oven. I have watered my plants in the greenhouse. They seem to have survived despite the fact that it was a very warm day. I'm just relieved to not have a mask on anymore. It is uh, not nice having to wear a mask all day. I certainly feel very sympathetic to anyone that has to do that for work. It makes my lips feel so dry. <laughs> Sorry about our overflowing laundry basket in the background. I thought I would very quickly show you my two purchases from Zara. I think I did very well only getting two things on my shopping trip to London, but it wasn't really about my shopping today. It was about Robin's very exciting shopping experience. As I said, I think she's going to be putting a vlog up um, showing you more about her wedding dress shopping on her channel. So very excited to see that. But yes, let's try on these two dresses from Zara. So here we have the first dress. I apologize for my lack of brassiere, but it is the most beautiful structure. I love that you've got the smocked bodice, a really beautiful length. I think it finishes a very elegant length. I've just styled it with my little flat shoes from H&M that I've been wearing so much lately. I will try and find these and link them down below. You can see it's got a very subtle scallop detail down at the bottom. And then I've paired it with my Loewe basket bag. 
the top is smocked and you've got this lovely bow detail. I haven't steamed or straightened, I normally use my straighteners when it comes to bows, but a really beautiful, but a really beautiful tight fitting bodice. I got the size extra small um, and this was $29.99, a really lovely one of those summer dresses that just seems to work for so many different occasions and the skirt is also lined so yes really really happy with this one oh my goodness and here is the second one i think this one is my favorite very similar in its silhouette not similar in their price this one is 49.99 the other one was 29.99 couldn't actually tell you why this one is £20 more expensive, it must be to do with the fabric. Very, very slight design details in that this one has actually got little ruffles down here. Maybe it's a slightly different style of smocking at the top here. Again, really lovely. Um, you've got like almost a kind of like a porcelain pattern on the blue here and then a little bit more of a simple lacy detail there. I think it just looks absolutely gorgeous the way that they have chosen this bit of fabric for the bodice. And then pleating down here, no broidery detail on the skirt this time, no scallops down at the bottom, but it does have a slight change in the fabric at the very bottom there. Same really elegant length, again just really comfortable, easy to wear, great to wear to barbecues if you think you're going to eat a lot because obviously very expandable. Ah, just really, really lovely. Quite possibly one of my favourite things that I have seen from Zara in quite some time. So I'm very impressed. Again, I just popped on my little H&M mules. I was wearing my Valentino Rock Studs all day today. They are super, super comfortable. I was recommending um, the heeled pair of Valentino Rock Studs to Robin as a potential pair of wedding day shoes but now I'm going to do my evening cleansing routine after a day in London and a day wearing a mask I definitely need a triple cleanse <laughs> cleansed, triple cleansed. I used some of my loveliest products including the Shantikai Rose de Mai Clen May Cleansing Balm which is so lovely. I gave my chin an extra good exfoliation and now I have got the Shantikai, I think it's actually the same range, Rose de Mai facial oil on which is always what I put on my skin when it just needs a good drink and a good treat. So I'm glowing, I've got my pyjamas on, I'm ready for, I think it's pie and mash that Charlie has done and we're finally getting on with Line of Duty. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, it was lovely to bring you along to London with me. Bit of a blast from the past, my old stomping ground, I feel like I'm such a creature of habit, literally did all the things that I usually do. <laughs> Elan Cafe, oat milk, hot chocolate, usual shops, usual bus routes, but yeah, felt really really nice, but I'm very glad to be back home, very glad to be back home. But darling, that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your evening. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please do subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!